Hello friends, in this lecture I will tell you about the input output dressing and the how many range of the input output data registers, memories, counters, timers in the PLC. Simple you have to go to the file and create your new project. I am using FS FBS and point twenty four. M model is M C. Press OK. Give the project name IOS dressing because this is a lecture on IO dressing. Input output I for input or, or for output dressing. It's a very basic thing. Okay. Now you have to go to PLC. So the project and go to memory allocation and press OK. You can see this is the all ranges of input, output, relays, timers, counters. Okay. So uh, first one is the input contact. Uh, you can see this is a total to 56 input and x0 is the initial input, first input and last one is x255. And same for output relay is the output coil and the range is in front of you y0 and y255 it is the last one total to 56 and in future i will tell you about the relay there are two types of relay retentive and non retentive and this is also internal relay of no retent okay so in the future i will tell you about the difference between retentive and no retentive but you can see the ranges okay and m0 to 799 is the total 800 non retentive relays. This is a step relays and this is a timer. You can see the your timer is 0 0.01 second from T0 to T49. Our okay, total 50 timer of 0 0.01 second and this is a 0.1 second timer is from 50 to T199. Total 150 relays. Oh, sorry, timer. And you can see this is a timer of 1 second. This is a count of 60 bit. This is a count of 32 bit. All are ranging in front of you. And you, you don't need any manual, anything. Just you have to see from your software. All the data register are this is a D data register. In future, I will tell you all, uh, all the items. And working and different between the items. So in this session, I will do uh, tell you about the input output dressing. Simple, uh, you have to go to this bar. This is a toolbar of ladder, and press your input and drag here. And uh, simple press X zero. Uh, if you want to give the some comment, then you can say this is a sensor. One press OK, and if you use X1, press here, and it's a sensor number two. Okay, and this is the output coil, simple press here and drag here, and this is over y0 and you can hear this is a motor output motor 1 ok and select horizontal short simple press here it will complete your run ok and if I use B contact here and uh, you can this is a X3 and sensor 4 and go to the vertical shot and press here. Okay, this is a very simple 
uh, in this way you can do your input output dressing okay now you have to go to the PLC and go to simulation if you don't have your PLC and you want to check the your program to get simple you go to simulation okay and run the PLC okay is the off okay and if you want I want to own this and on this your input motor is on sorry output motor is on if you in uh, of the this but it's still on because your path is there okay so in this in this way you can do your input output dressing so go to plc and and the simulation and you can use memory simple use output the memory m0 and you can this is a set output this is a comment and simple Okay, sorry. And go to the simulation. And this will give you the alarm. Uh, we have to remove this. Okay. No, you go to the simulation. Okay, and it's already fourthly on. Go to the PLC and run the PLC. Okay, no, you disable. Sorry, off the input. Okay, and if I own the input and this input. Uh, you can both your output is on this is a memory bit and this is a output bit okay memory bit mean it has a internal memory of the plc and this is the external output you can take from the plc wiring out output but is the internal of the plc okay 